friends, this is Adiraj and today we are going to learn how to use this free intercom extension developed by Pinsol. Intercom is a modern messaging product for sales, marketing and support, keeping the customers in mind. They provide the features like bots and live chat to automatically qualify, route and convert leads faster. As a customer, one has a chance of getting their immediate doubts cleared and as a business owner, one gets to resolve their immediate queries and know what the customer really wants. This overall process paves the way for better lead conversion. Spree Intercom extension helps free businesses integrate Intercom facility better with their Spree Commerce stores and hence increase sales and improve customer satisfaction. With the help of this extension, we can register the customers on Intercom and update their information. We can track all of their activities on our Spree Commerce store. This feature can come in handy in a lot of scenarios. For example, it can be of help when one is tracking complaints on orders when the store owner wants to look at the particular order referred to by the user. With the help of the activities tracker embedded in the extension, the store owner can reach the requisite order faster and with ease. Now let's move over to the GitHub page for Spree Intercom extension which you can access by clicking the link available on our YouTube page below this video. Here you will find all of the information regarding our extension. There is also a Heroku one click deploy button that you can choose to play around with the extension. For the purpose of this tutorial, I have already deployed the extension on Heroku and logged in with the admin credentials. Here we have the admin backend in front of us. You can access the admin backend by appending admin slash orders to the address of your Spreecommerce store. In this tutorial, I would like to show you how to use intercom to see the activity of the lead and to use the information as the need arises. Here on the GitHub page for Spree Intercom extension, we have a list of all the activities that are being tracked from the Spreecommerce store. Of these, I'm going to use customer adds item in his cart, customer removes item from his cart, and customer places an order events in our tutorial. But first, on the admin side, let's go over to the configuration section and the intercom subsection within it. Here, I would like to show you where the application ID and the access token are added. You add the application ID and the access token and click update. Here we have the front end of the Spree Commerce store before us. For the purpose of this tutorial, I've already logged in with the set of customer credentials that I created specifically. Now let's go ahead and try to order something. Let's say Ruby on Rails bag. I add Ruby on Rails bag to car. On the checkout page, everything seems fine, so I'm going to click on checkout. In the address section, the details are already filled, so I'm going to click on save and continue. In a similar way, I selected the shipping method in the delivery section and the payment method in the payment section and completed the order. Now let's go ahead and save this order number for our future reference. For the purpose of this tutorial, from the admin side, I've already captured the payment and marked the item as shipped. Now let's just assume the case that the item that has been delivered to Frank is defective and he uses Intercom to reach out to the store owners. He sends out a distressed message. At the store end, somebody looks at the distressed message and initiates a response. Now, it is pertinent to mention here that with the help of our extension, Intercom takes in some important information about the customer like name, email ID and phone number. The customer shares the details of the order. On the store end, the store owner looks into the matter with the help of the details. They open the platform section, open the user profile and in their activity section on the right hand side, expand the placed order event to confirm the order number. If it matches, they send out an immediate response. Here we have the front end of the Spree Commerce store before us again. For the purpose of this tutorial, I've already logged in with another set of customer credentials that I created specifically. In this part of the tutorial, I'm going to show you a piece of conversation that is initiated by the store owner. The new customer, Piotr, is looking at the newly launched Apache baseball jersey. He adds it to cart. At the store end, the store owner is trying to filter out the customers who have just added a product to their cart. The name of Piotr shows up and they initiate a conversation. 
to look at the product they've added to cart, Apache baseball jersey, and ask whether they have any questions. The customer looks at the message and asks a question in reply. The store owner looks at the question and answers it. The author looks at the answer and sends thanks in reply. Let's look at one last piece of conversation that is also initiated by the store owner. The current customer, Carol, adds Ruby on Rails store to cart. But after a certain time, she removes it. At the store end, the store owner is trying to filter out the customers who have recently removed the product from their cart. They find that Carol is on the list who is online and they initiate a conversation. They look at the product they have removed from the removed product event, Ruby on Rails store, and ask if there are any reasons why they removed the product. On the front end store, the customer looks at the message and sends in a reply. The store owner, always eager to help, recommends another less costly product. Looking at a less costly product, the customer thanks the store owner. Now, all of this information is available on the GitHub page for Spree Commerce Intercom extension under the Usage section. You can also look at some more extensions developed for Spree Commerce at spreecommerce-extensions.com. You can also post your issues on the Spree Commerce Slack, marking me at the rate Atiraj, that is A-D-H-I-R-A-J. Thanks for watching guys. Have a nice day.